Welcome back. And if you're like me, you're totally amazed by the versatility of chat GPT. How much easier it's going to make your life, how more quickly you'll be able to make your blog post, your social media posts, and yes, even write ebooks, chapter outlines, outlines for your fiction novel, your nonfiction novel. It's just so versatile. In this lesson, I'm going to share with you a series of prompts, chat GPT prompts that I've created and that I've provided to you so that you can copy and paste them into chat GPT just by copying what's in the document, pasting it into chat GPT, and then filling in the blanks. So we're just going to go to chat GTP, paste what we've just copied as the first blog post prompt, and then where all of those dashes are and all of those underscores, you're just going to fill in the blanks. So it says your persona is that of a highly skilled and blank. So I'm just going to say highly skilled motivational speaker or trainer or coach or life coach or um, nurse or doctor, whatever it is that you are um your persona, whatever, whatever perspective you want ChatGPT to write from. And in this blog post, you're going to discuss the difference between one thing and another. So in this case, I'm typing fear-based success and uh, let's say positive-based success. And then further, you'll see that the nuance, I'm going to change the, the, Every time there's an underline, I'm going to enter in keywords that I want ChatGPT to compare, to write about, to, to bring into the blog post. Now, in this case, I have three things that, that ChatGPT can bring in, but I'm just going to write about the two things. And then here, this is pretty important. This is the goal of why you're writing this blog post. What do you want people to come away with? The point you want to make is ultimately blank. Okay, now this is the real important part, in my opinion, the perspective that ChatGTP needs in order to write properly. So you're asking it to write in the first person. You're referring, you're asking it to refer to the reader as you and the writer as I. And you're also saying, please use vivid language and empathy and use analogies and storytelling to bring the information forward in an engaging way. And then you're telling it how much you want to write. Please write a blog post of about 2,000 words. Well, I'm going to tell you that ChatGPT is not going to write 2,000 words. It's probably going to write about 100 words. Um, not 100 words, 800 words. But, but that's a, a nice size blog post. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's just so amazing. And it all started with the prompt at the top where you have instructed ChatGTP who it is, what it's going to talk about, and who it is talking about. Let's take a look at another prompt. Now in this prompt, I'm telling ChatGPT that it's writing from the perspective of an essential oil enthusiast. But what's also important here is that I'm also planting the seed of the blog that has just been started and wanting to create a series of blog posts. So it says you've just started a blog and want to create a blog series that's designed to help someone who is getting into essential oils. Please read an outline or write an outline for five blog posts and wait till you see how amazing this is. I know it's so amazing, right? It is literally outlining one through five 
of blog posts around essential oils. Now, what's nice about this is you don't have to use ChatGPT to write the blog posts. We can, and I'm gonna show you how, but you could just use this as a guideline for writing the posts yourself. These are the titles, these are the headings, it's fantastic. Now, moving back to the Word document, Underneath the post prompt number three, you'll see a paragraph that we're going to copy and select, and we're going to place it back in ChatGTP. Notice the area that says copy and paste the first blog suggestion here. So I'm going to copy the first blog suggestion, and then I'm going to go into this prompt, and I'm going to select that little copy and paste it here, and I'm going to paste it here. And that's it because chat GPT understands punctuation. You don't need to make it look nice. You just need to put the information in there. I'm going to choose go and like magic, it is going to create the blog post. Watch, right? Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that like magic? Let's try it again with another topic. Now, just since I've already got everything already pasted in here, I'm going to go up to the top. I'm just going to copy the first prompt, paste it down here, and I'm gonna say your new persona is that of an expert golfer. You have started a blog and want to create a blog series that is designed to help someone who is interested in getting into golf understand the essentials. Please write an outline for five blog posts. Let's see what we get. This is totally on the fly. Let's go down to the bottom. And here we go. Truly amazing, absolutely fantastic, right? I mean, it's like magic. Okay, don't believe me? I'm going to just go back up to here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, there's my outline. Okay, here's great. Write that in. 2,000 words. Now, I'm just going to select, see where it says blog post here? This is all from the essential oils. I need to go down to my golfing outline. Copy the first blog, because I want to start at number one. Paste that in here, say go. And there it is. There it is. I even have the definitions, just like it said it was going to provide. Yes, chat GPT is life changing. If you're a writer, if you want to write, if you enjoy social media, if you've ever thought about writing an ebook, oh my goodness. In the next session, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to write an ebook or even a full length book using ChatGPT. So get excited.